Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. If you remember, a few months ago we had a conversation about how to style loafers during spring-summer season, and today we're going to talk about how to combine loafers for fall-winter outfits that rock. All right, next up we have like a green corduroys. Yeah, I love them. So it's kind of like a, a Christmas look here. Yeah. Um, like any for holiday parties. Yeah, you can wear it with a holiday party. You know, if you're going to a Christmas party, maybe an ugly sweater party. And me personally, I'm not a fan of ugly sweaters. Um, I don't know if I see you wearing ugly sweaters. Um, well, maybe it's, a theme, <laughs> maybe it's a theme party. Why not? Right? Yeah. It's probably not like as a, as a joke or so. Yeah. 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 Um, so the idea here was to create a great holiday look, um, but it's really a great fall and winter look. Um, we picked the green and, and the red because of Christmas, and we kind of brought down that theme or, or toned down the theme a little bit with a, a navy cashmere uh, sports jacket and the navy tie loafers. Um, it creates a really conservative, really classic look, and you can easily swap out the green pants for brown pants, or I mean, you could even maybe do uh, a white corduroy or a cream colored corduroy and still be a really nice looking look. Next up, we're a little more colorful again. Yes. Again, you like bolder colors, which is nice. Yes. So, so we this, show the full spectrum here. This is a very playful winter look. Um, this look is not for a lot of guys. It's very colorful, very neon, very adventurous, kind of a throwback to the 80s with the neon colors and, and the fleece. Resort look, kind of. Yeah, yeah. So this is like your apres ski look. Maybe you were on the mountain and you're sitting by the fire and you know, you want to kind of just relax, or maybe you're at home and you, you want to take it easy, you're, you're having a night in with your girlfriend. And you want to stand out from the crowd in a bold way. Yes, yes, or maybe you're going out to, you know, the bar or the corner store and, you know, you want to show a little bit of leg or, you, you know, you want to have fun with your look. Um, we, we chose a, a caramel, a lighter brown color shoe to go with this look because it kind of plays off the beige and the yellow of the, the lining of the pullover and also of the pants. Um, again, it's not a look for everybody, but I love this look. I wear it out. It catches a lot of looks, and, and the ladies always ask about it, which is an added bonus. Yeah, next look, I mean, fair out sweaters. I really like them. Yeah. Very classic. Prince classic. of Wales uh, is well known for this picture. Yeah, he kind of made that famous when he was golfing. Um, it's a great classic look, and what's awesome about a fair out sweater is you can pull a lot of different colors from the sweater. Yeah, and, and the sweaters only work because they have these nice modeled yarns, and yeah. there are actually many different yarns. Yeah. So... It's very easy to combine because it picks up in all kinds of colors. Exactly. So, so what we did here was we took the Fair Isle sweater and uh, we took the, the suede shoes and we have two different options for the pants to show that, you know, you have the shoes and you have the, the sweater, but what are you going to do in between? Well, you could easily do a navy blue pair of pants, corduroys, chinos, or a brown pair. Um, I think it's important for guys to realize that the looks we're showing here are not regimented. You can swap out any given item. For anything else it's, it's inspiration it's food yeah, to thought yeah yeah like uh, showing you something that you might not have think about yes it's sort of it's all about food for thought it's like showing you something that you might not have thought about otherwise yes yes and the other thing going back to our earlier points of the setting well maybe during the day you want to wear the brown quarters but maybe at night you want something a little more formal a little more dark so you go with the navy blue corduroy right the next look is about a little bowler a leather yes. jacket in here yeah so again we have a little more fashion forward look um, it's not something that I would wear, and I don't think it's really something that you would wear, but on a lot of guys, this is a great look. Uh, you know, we're here in Los Angeles at the Art of Charm headquarters. This would be a great look for Los Angeles or maybe New York or perhaps Miami. Um, we took a, a leather jacket, a beautiful black leather jacket with a Henley uh, shirt. Um, you know, some guys wear a Henley without any other shirts. I think it's a great look. It's a more rugged look. Um, for the pants, we have kind of a, a black. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a, kind of a cross between a, a jogger and a chino. And then, of course, we put black shoes with that. Um, we, we went with the uh, Shipley Tyler for in this case because I think it paired best with the rest of the look. But you could easily swap out the, the tie loafers for a penny loafer. All right. Um, keeping with the black theme, we stuck with a, a black sunglasses and a black wallet. All black. All black everything. <laughs> you know, sometimes guys want a slightly more modern look. Yes. And right now, camos are fashionable, especially yes. for younger people. Yeah. So uh, what do you got? So this look, there's kind of two focal points. It's the camouflage, as Raphael alluded to, and then there's the white jeans. Um, in the old school, you don't wear white between uh, Memorial Day and Labor Day. You don't, you know, there's no such thing as winter whites. Yeah. Um, in the new school of thought, the more modern look, as you spoke of, you can wear white in the winter. So we took a white denim jean here, and we paired it with a... Thicker a, fabric, probably. Yeah, it's winter. a nice thick fabric um, with a great quilted navy top and the camouflage uh, jacket, which is... Kind of a combination of a couple different trends, but it ends up being a very classic 
kind of preppy look, but with a different twist on it, more kind of a new school prep look. Definitely. Um, in the wintertime, it's great. You, know, you can throw on a hat, and you know, we have the navy suede penny loafers that really bring in the color of the camouflage jacket uh, down to the shoes to really, again, frame the pants that you're wearing. Uh, it's a common concept, framing the pants. Yes. Using the loafers and the jackets. Yes. And yes. it's a theme that we've seen across many different outfits. Yes. Whether yes. it's spring, summer, or fall, winter. Yes, yes. And I mean, you're doing a great with your outfit right now. You have kind of the orange in your pocket square and the orange of your shoes, which the watchers can't see, but it's a great orange boat shoe that Raphael's wearing. Um. <laughs> Next up, we have a great flannel outfit. Yes. It's not your grandpa's flannel outfit. No, we, we changed up your typical gray or navy flannel and did a lighter blue flannel. I think it's a beautiful fabric. To me, tweed and flannel are the two fabrics of, of the winter and fall season. Flannel being the more formal of the two. Um, so we, we started with the flannel suit and we wanted to do a monochromatic look. So we took a, a light blue shirt, um, a navy blue suede bit loafer, and yeah. then the navy knit tie, which I, mean, I think may actually be a four belvedere tie. You guys have some great knit ties. Oh, uh, thanks. Um, and but uh, it's interesting to say monochromatic. To me, monochromatic invokes this like, you know, all gray, 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 yeah. with very light variations. Now, technically, navy is a shade of blue, yes. and so is this blue suit. But to me, they're so contrasty that to me, it wouldn't be quite monochromatic. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, in the same you know color family, but yeah, it's yeah. different enough, but the same. Yeah. Um, and I think it gives off a very sophisticated, very elegant air, and it also shows that you're very much in control of your own personal style. Absolutely. Um, which I think is very important, especially when you're wearing a suit. Yeah, and I mean, with this suit, it's definitely a little lighter in color yeah. which makes it bolder so you you toned the rest down you took the tie that it kind of matched the shoes yeah so you can frame everything which yes. is a recurring theme we've been talking yes. about yes. with outfits yes yes and, and blue is also great because it works well with a lot of guys you know complexions and hair colors so i, I think this is a very flexible look it'd be great if you're maybe having a, a dinner party or um you know a night out uh you know a nice date maybe an anniversary something like that yeah, next up, we have like a sweater. A lot of guys like, like to wear sweaters. Yes. So thick ones, six ply, yeah. eight ply yarns. Yeah. So what did you do here? So we actually found the sweater and fell in love with the sweater. It, it, it you know, as you'll see in the photo, it has a lot of different shades of brown that are in the sweater that are woven through. Um, it has a nice chunky knit, and the raglan sleeve is also kind of unique. Um, we, we grounded that with uh, a brown khaki and then the brown penny loafers. It's a very simple, kind of very minimal look. Um, it's different enough that it's not plain, it's not boring. Yeah. You, know, you have the texture of, of the sweater, which is really, really nice. And it's just like a more muted outfit. You know, you have the model yeah. winter wide yarn going with the green, gray pants, and then you just go a shade darker for every item yeah. towards yeah. the bottom, basically. And if you, know, if you wanted to change this outfit up, you could easily throw on a, a you know, navy blue cable knit sweater, or you know, a burgundy v-neck sweater under you know, maybe a white Oxford cloth button down. It's a really flexible outfit. You know, with the brown shoes and the brown pants, you can almost do whatever you want on the top color-wise, which is really nice. So, I mean, personally, I'm a big fan of dinner jackets. Yeah. And while I would not necessarily wear a pair of loafers with them, <laughs> maybe a pair of slippers, or velvet slippers, yeah. or so forth. I mean, what's your take on it? Uh, so obviously, I'm biased on this one because I design loafers and I love loafers. I wear them eight days a week. Um, and any chance I have to wear loafers, I'll wear them. Um, a lot of guys, it may not be for them. They want to wear, you know, like you said, a Prince Albert slipper or a lace-up or, an, a, you know, an Oxford. Um, I think this look, the idea was to create a look that is very nonchalant, very elegant, very masculine. So we took the velvet jacket. It's that nice, deep, burgundy color, which looks great on a lot of guys. It's very unique. The women love that feel the velvet and look of the velvet. Yeah, because the light, the artificial light, it, it, it sparkles and yeah. it's just a unique look. You'll get lots of compliments yes. wearing that. Yeah, yeah, a lot of compliments. And of course, it's one button on the front and it's peak lapel, which is very important. Um, and we did everything else that is, is quite simple. You know, you have your yeah. black, you know, pants. Shawl color would work too. Shawl color would also be great. Um, but no notched. No notch, never notched. Um, you also see some uh, smoking jackets that have, you know, the silk faced lapels, which is great, or the frog closure on the front, which is also a great look. The idea with pairing the, the tie loafer with this look was something that's playful, adventurous, but still masculine, but kind of played off of um, the unconventional nature, or the less common nature of, of the velvet jacket on top. Yeah. So I think uh, the penny loafer wouldn't work with this look, the bit loafer wouldn't work with this, but the tie loafer is really great um, because it is 
to me, the most kind of playful of, of our shoes and really of any loafer type. You'd even see, you know, an Italian gentleman wearing a black driving shoe with, you know, a velvet jacket if you really wanted. Um, I think a look like this is great if you're at a less formal black tie event, maybe a black tie optional event, or if uh, you're hosting a black tie event at your house, or it's, uh, you know, an art opening or something like that. I wouldn't wear it to a wedding or more formal black tie event, but those that are less formal, I think this is, is a great yeah. outfit. I mean, for most people, black tie is very formal, yeah. but there are some, you know, where you can have those more casual, relaxed ones. I mean, yeah. I wear dinner jackets at home for parties sometimes in yes. the winter. I like them. They're fun. Yeah. But I'm also like a dressier guy, so, yeah. and having these dress coats make it, yeah, they just make it fun for people yeah. to experiment. Yeah, and some guys get bored just wearing a tuxedo at the same time, you know, Absolutely. every time over and over again. So it's nice to change it up a little All bit. Right. Last but not least, it yeah. would have been nice, a sport coat outfit here. Yeah. Um, this is uh, a great look. I think it's a great fall and winter look. Um, this look, I think, is a great fall and winter look. It's a nice, heavy tweed jacket. Um, we started with a jacket and said, okay, what can we pair with a jacket? It's a very bold, strong statement, this jacket. You know, you have the the kind of the rusty brown color with the, the light blue check. It's not a common color combination. Mm -hmm. And you really, I think, have to pare it down and, and pair it with other neutral and earthy tones. So we took the cream colored uh, cashmere turtleneck, which when you don't want to wear maybe a tie or an open neck shirt like I'm doing right now, I think a turtleneck is a great alternative, especially in the fall and the winter. It looks very sophisticated, very composed. And um, it's really popular right now. You see it a yeah. lot with people having the turtleneck. I personally am not super fond of it. It can look good, if it's especially high. It's a personal yeah. thing, right? It's yes. more casual than having the tie. Yes. I like wearing neckwear. Yeah. If you get a cold easily, I think turtlenecks can look good. Yes, yes. Agreed on that front. Great point. Um, at the bottom of the look, we took an olive green flannel pant. Um, mm -hmm. It's a really heavy flannel. It really pairs well with that thick, heavy texture and kind of muted look of, of the tweed. Uh, and It's then, beautiful. Yeah, thank you, thank you. And at the base of that, we took the caramel penny loafer. The caramel obviously ties in really well with the color of the jacket. And the penny loafer, I think, given the strength of the, uh, the jacket and also the turtleneck, something very simple at the feet is really what you want it to look like this. Uh, I think this is a, a very sophisticated, uh, elegant look and one that you could easily change out the colors but keep the principles the same. You have a great tweed jacket, maybe you have a a brown or a navy or a red tweed jacket, maybe switch out the green pants for a, a, a gray or a navy pant. I think you have a really great look. It's a, um, a high, more of a higher level look. Um, it's a little more adventurous. It's a little more out there. It's, it, I think it's a great look. Awesome. Yeah, no, I agree. Previously, we already discussed how you can combine loafers in spring, summer, as well as in fall, winter. And if you haven't already done so, please check out our loafer guide. And if you want to go to Justin's website, where should they go? So you can find out more about Jay Butler at jbutler.com. And you can email us at help at jbutler.com. If you have any questions, we'd be happy to answer. Absolutely awesome. Thank you. Thanks, Raphael.